Healthy attacks on oil facilities have aggravated the economic situation in the country. Such a healthy behavior made it difficult for the government to assume its responsibilities and pay civil servants salaries. This report has more details. The problem of declining financial resources due to the cessation of oil exports in Yemen has dominated the discussions of the Yemeni leadership in recent years. Amid concerns about the government's inability to face the inevitable obligations, especially with regard to salaries in deliberated areas and operating expenses. The Houthi drone attacks since last October led to the cessation of oil exports from the ports of Hadramaut and Shavua, which made the Yemeni government lose the most important resource and hard currency, in conjunction with the decline in revenues from other sectors. Fear of the collapse of the Yemeni economy dominated the meetings of the President of the Presidential Leadership Council, with those concerned with economic affairs and with the Consultation and Reconciliation Commission that was established according to the decision to transfer power in April 2022. While the Central Bank of Yemen struggles to carry out its tasks within the available limits, relying on Saudi and Emirati deposits, the Yemeni real witnessed a new decline against hard currencies in the liberated areas, reaching more than 1,400 rials per dollar. It is noteworthy that the Houthi group had threatened to repeat its attacks on oil export ports and to target cargo ships in the event that the government resumed the export process. In the context of its attempt to blackmail the government to obtain a share of the proceeds from the sale of crude, the group has so far rejected UN and regional proposals to renew and expand the truce and agree on coordinated steps to pay the salaries of government sector employees while continuing to seize the resources of Hodeida ports and the rest of the sectors, such as customs, taxes, and communications. The Yemeni Consultation and Reconciliation Commission stressed the need for the Presidential Leadership Council and the government to assume their responsibilities towards the military escalation of the Houthi militia and stressed that the Houthis will not accept peace without firmness and deterrent measures for what is happening.